Hello guys and welcome back to the creative build to craft Botania runes with, uh, with AAT watercrafting. This is the second version of the build and it's pretty much completed. Uh, I think I've improved it quite a lot with the input from you guys and uh, help from uh, Reddit and stuff. Uh, the limitation in the previous video and the link is in the video description was that I could only order one job at a time or the recipe would be mixed up and uh, because too much ingredients would come at the same time and it wasn't that easy to solve uh, so the solution is what you see in front of you and then I have some other improvements as well we can start with the small improvements uh, just to compare with the old one uh, as you might see, the golem is removed and it is replaced with the hopper hawk. So it works just the same. It's um, it's no big difference, uh, but uh, this is a better solution. It also feels more logical to only use botania stuff for as for as, as much as possible. So this one will, thanks to this item frame. I have black listed, let's see, we can see that, right? Mm, pick up only items not in frames. So I've blacklisted the living rock uh, and it will be dropped directly onto the altar. So uh, I wonder if this guy will, yeah, he will go crazy. Um, and that, and it will be there for, for the duration of the, of the crafting. And that, that's okay. So that means that I could get rid of the Thomcraft part and I have replaced the thermal expansion part with Buildcraft. Just a personal preference. I have showed one version before, kind of like this. And this is another way to do it. So I'm using the stripes pipe and it's quite fun because you have... It's quite seldom that you use it, so it was fun to use it here. So it will insert the uh, items into the altar. And then I just have some gates that says that if I have items in the altar, then we will emit a redstone signal. And that will be done every five seconds. So both, both of these must be uh, true for the redstone signal to be output. Uh, I could have it at all times just with a five second timer but then it will sound click 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 and so on uh, so this dispenser will uh, is what controls the the altar so it will start and finish the uh, the crafting uh, it might be possible to do this to do the item insertion with dispenser as well but i had some problems with that for example in this one if we insert mana steel, no problem. You can hear the clicking. So it will be inserted. But some ingredients, or perhaps only the bone meal, <laughs> it won't go in for some reason. Perhaps it tries to grow the, the altar, I don't know. Uh, but because of this problem, I, I just skipped it and I used Buildcraft instead. See? problems I don't know why anyway so that's the update on the altar uh, nothing strange but uh, slightly different so and this chest has blacklisted living rock and sticks and up here we have only the living rock you can see here I have only the living rock and here I have an insert inverter card so we are not allowed to, to place these in here. And then you might wonder, what is the stick for? Well, well, it's a stop item. I will come to that in one minute. Uh, when the crafting is done, they will end, all the items will end up in here. So the runes will end up in this chest. Uh, it will also pick up the mana steel from this, from this recipe. Uh, and I have this import bus that will import mono steel ingots. Uh, 
directly, always, at all times. So as soon as we get a mana steel in here, import them into the, uh, the system and, and it's done. But this one, here I have a redstone card. So this one will all, only import when we receive a redstone signal. And that means that all the runes that we create and pick up and put in this chest, they will only be imported when we have a redstone signal. And I have a very specific reason for that. Uh, it has to do with the stop item. You can also see that this subnetwork, the orange, is what controls the items and put them into the altar and, uh, and onto the altar. That's the only thing that it does. But we also have a blue sub-network. Or not a sub, it's a, it's a network of its own. But it also looks in this chest with a storage bus. It's not meant to store things in there. It will just check what we have in there. So, and that is, that's the only thing that this network does. Check what's in the chest and if we have a rune of water, one or more, then emit a redstone signal. And that this redstone signal will make sure that the rune is imported and take care of the stop item. And now it's time to go into the stop item. Uh, we can remember that I had a problem with uh, doing a lot of stuff at the same time. Now, I've changed the recipes, uh, they are in here. So if you take a look at this, you can see that we have bone meal, mono steel, sugar cane, and a stick, and fishing rod, and living rock. The stick is not a part of the recipe. If we just order one, the items end up in here, and the stick is still there. Because this import bus will try to import everything, right? But it didn't take the, the stick because it's blacklisted. It doesn't have anywhere to go. So now we have, this one is crafting. Uh, it's slightly too quick for me to demonstrate, but now notice the redstone signal that it goes all the way over here and over here. And why does it go over here? Well. This import bus has a redstone card, but is set to activate, activate once per pulse and import the stick. So both of these interfaces are also in blocking mode. Now, that, this is a lot of information at the same time. But what does it mean? Well, it means that we put all the items into this chest. All items except for the stick will be put in uh, in the altar. And since we have it in blocking mode, then it will not push crafting items if it contains items. And since we still have the stick in here, we won't push the next round of runes. So if we do this again, and we say I want six of them, this is two rounds. Now note that we got only one round in here, only one stick, we can see it in here as well that we have items stored and waiting for us to, uh, to insert them. And now when it's done, it will activate once when it receives a pulse. Remove the stick, empty that chest, and then after that is done, then we will get new items in here. And now we can see that they are, they end up here and they're getting pushed into the altar and we do the next round. And again, we have a stick here that will block the next, whatever the next step is. Um, those items will be blocked until that one is completed. So this blue network will have one emitter for each rune type. And I was, I'm going to do, add one more. So I have, uh, we have the rune of spring that then we use one water and one fire. Here we have one earth 
if we craft one of those, we can see we have mushroom and uh, coal and uh, smooth stone. So let's add one more. Let's add the air. That's string, feather and carpet. So three of those. You can have it like this. You can oh, have it like this as well. Doesn't matter. Uh, but it's more obvious, I think. Uh, what did I say? We have carpet. Uh, what was it? Was it string and feather? Yes, like that. And one living rock to drop on it. And then one stick. That's a stopping item or the blocking item. And this gives us three rune of air. And we'll place it in here. So let's try it. Uh, let's see here. Let's craft four of them. That's two rounds. One stick in here. Uh, stored, stored. This looks good. All those things end up in here. Items in the inventory. Activate dispenser. That means the one of the forest. And things seems to work just fine. So then. Well, that cro well, that's crafting. Let's do the rune of air. No, the rune of summer. So that's air, earth, two sand, slime, and melon. And let's see if I can remember this. <laughs> summer. We have rune of air. Oh, forgot one thing. I didn't get anything back, and we will not. We're not done yet. I forgot to add the emitter. So here we say that as long as we have one of air, emit redstone signal. Did that happen now? Yep, we're on to the next round. And let's add one more here, the rune of summer. One or more of Rune of Summer, emit a redstone signal. Uh, we just did okay, great. This is quite fast now since I upgraded the uh, the mono spreader to a Gaia version. So that's good. Uh, let's see. Rune of Air, two Rune of Summer, and we need one Rune of Earth. Was it? Two sand, melon, oh, it's hard to remember, slime ball, stick, and like that. You'll need to do this once. Two sand, slime, melon, and earth air. Perfect. Then we put this in here as well. And then we should be able to, if we remove the air, we remove the earth and we order one summer. See, there's a quite big crafting job. So, so this will make us three crafting rounds and finally one rune of summer. Things are... Let's follow this entire step and see that it works. And since there are 16 runes, we need 16 level emitters if you want everything to be all recipes to be covered and that's why we need two interfaces as well. Alright, that's the air I think. And now it's the... or was it the opposite? Is it the earth now? Yep, so now it's the earth. And it's almost done. Perfect. And then once that's in, we'll have the same thing. And one stick here at all times and it will be imported in the end as well. And here comes the last step. Something is wrong. Did we miss anything? 
Ah, uh, one cent. We need two cents. Let's uh, let's add it manually. Now it's correct. So I need to change that recipe. But you get the idea. The method is correct. It was just the recipe. And then redstone. Chest is empty. And we're finished. And we have our rune of summer. So not so simple perhaps. But at least now it works. And it's uh, very powerful now. Now we can craft every rune. As long as you add the correct recipes, add the level emitter, and uh, you should be fine. I hope you liked this. It was very fun to build and uh, great discussions after the previous video. I will probably not do another video on this subject uh, because I feel that we have <laughs> covered everything, all aspects of it. And we learned about stopping items as well. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for contributing to the uh, video content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.